This is the Dixon single cylinder wireless tachometer I've been using for quite some time on my small engine work. But recently I wanted to find something that was a little more compact I could keep in my toolbox at my part-time job. So I decided to try this Secron. It's a tachometer and it also is an hour meter. I've just been checking it. It's got 0, 0.03. I guess that's three minutes of use on it. So the advantages to this is it's small. A little disadvantage is you have to wrap this wire around the spark plug lead. They say to wrap it around for five turns and that can be a little bit awkward when the spark plug lead isn't that long. This one, you just need to hold this pickup close to the ignition wire and it works. So I thought it would be interesting to compare the two, see how they closely agree. see this tachometer was reading about 3100 rpms this one was reading about 2960 which is a difference of 140 rpms which is interesting I don't know exactly why this this one is fairly uh, old but it's wireless and has no moving parts except for the needle so uh, but a difference of 160 rpms over a range of uh, 3,000 to 3,600 RPMs for a lawnmower or that type small engine or even higher for a blower or a chainsaw I don't think it makes much difference. The advantage to this one is its size is very small. It does have the slight disadvantage of having to wrap the wire around the spark plug lead. This one has the advantage of not having to do that but it is a bit bigger and a little bit bulkier so it'd be hard to put this in a toolbox. They both have advantages, they both have pros and cons, uh, and they're both still available. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in small engines, especially uh, old small engines and small engine projects, I'd suggest you check out Road King 805. He and his gang do some awesome engine projects, including a water-cooled Briggs and Stratton, a Briggs and Stratton with a see-through head, and multi-cylinder Briggs and Stratton. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Thanks and have a good day.